Hey YouTube, it's Uptoose Angle here. I'm here to quickly uh, review and uh, hopefully not criticize Marvel Legends Infinite Series Spider Woman and Hellcat. We'll start with Hellcat. Uh, I can tell right now this this is not going to be a good review. Oh God, I need some Budweiser. Okay, here we have the back of the box. It's probably the same for both of them. I can easily check, but I won't. Oh, oh God, Hasbro. Okay, we got another. Let me know how I feel about this wave. We're off the bat. Oh, we got another. Uh, sorry, when you're drunk, things happen. Uh, another Iron Man. Uh, just a repaint again. Hulk uses new parts, but it's still crap. Captain America is no parts, but still the same exact figure, same exact head sculpts, you know, didn't improve it one bit. This guy is the Leaper, Batrock, whatever you call him. Nobody knew who he was in the 90s, but I think he was probably in a cartoon. And from what I hear, he was in uh, Cap 2. I don't remember that, but he was, and not everybody pretends to like Batrock. Nobody liked Batrock in the 90s. And we have this uh, Hellcat. I barely know who Hellcat is, to be honest with you, you know. Spider Woman, of course. We know Spider Woman, but no clue. Uh, but I'm probably a bad uh, uh, fan. Anyway, uh, what it says in the back of the box is Fast Fighters. Fast combat skills unleash when these heroes bring into action. Wow, <laughs> riveting, huh? Hasbro probably Googles a quick background story. We'll let interns do it. And they write this crap. Oh my god, it's crap. Fierce combat skills are unleashed when these heroes spring into action. Holy crap. Oh god, I need another shot. Fans, okay, here we are again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boy, this one's a doozy. Hasbro's Hellcat. Ah, it's not a... Uh, how do I put it gently? It's not that appealing of a figure. Uh, it comes with these flipping batons. Uh, that it was included with uh, Daredevil. It doesn't feel as cheap though. You know, it feels like a little better plastic, but still, is this the best they can do accessory wise? Hey, how about the alternate head? That would have been really, really nice. But it would probably require sculpt work, and Hasbro would never do that. So, oh boy, it also comes with the leprosy or the, oh, oh god, it looks like Thanos has leprosy. Oh, it looks like he had like dirty water in his face, it was very poor. See, he has like black uh, splotches. It was very, very poor. I think they try to pass it off as a wash. Ugh, poorly done, just poorly, poorly done. Oh, if you want a real, uh... If you want a real uh, Thanos figure, just get the select one, it's better, trust me. And he comes with like the left arm of Thanos, that's, that's I dropped that in the ground, who gives a crap? Anyway, um, alright, let's just get a Hellcat, she can't stand up, okay? She can't stand up, I think she's on the Moonstone body. It's another straight repaint, no sculpt work by Hasbro, although, uh, I just lie, because the hair did get sculpted, I think it's new hair piece. It's a bit of a stiff plastic. You know what's funny, right? They can use cheap plastic for that stupid batons, right? Cheap soft plastic. But when it comes to the hair, they decide to use cheap hard plastic. Why not use the hard plastic for the batons and the soft plastic for the hair? I just don't get it. I don't get what they're what they're thinking. There's no shading in there, by the way. My goodness. I'm looking at this thing. There is no shading in there at all in that hair. None. Does this figure have shading? Yeah, it looks like the figure does have slight shading, but none in the hair. Uh, uh come on. Oh, God, the arms never want to go down. Oh, you bastards, said Asbro. No, it's supposed to go this way. All right, all right, all right. All right, the hand is stuck, right? Okay, I right, just get to the quick review, right? It's a cheap repaint. The entire wave is a cheap repaint. Everything is a cheap repaint. I don't know if I'm like, I'm like, um, I'm wrong for saying that, but it's another cheap repaint. I see people go buck wild for these figures, talking about how good they are, but they're not. 
they're cheap repaints. Hasbro is giving you garbage. You know, the, the quickest way to make a big buck is to just do repaints. And that's what they've done. Just crappy repaints. And I'm not saying that repaints are having a place in the business. Sure they do. But so many repaints. It's like, what are you giving the fans? But the fans just don't seem to care. You know, Hellcat, okay, right, let's just get to it right now. The head really can't look up. Why? Because the hair. Uh, it looks down pretty far. So it does have like a hinge in there. But uh, such a poor job by Hasbro once again. Poor job. I think it's the Moonstar, but I don't have the Moonstar. But uh, from my pictures I've seen, it's the Moonstar. She has like a nice ab joint. This kind of gets in the way a little bit. You know, and they just save money by, by doing these cheap plastic pieces, which is nice. You can pull it off, sure. So you can do customs with the fig, which is nice, but still. You know, you're saving money by not doing um, sculpting, so pass it to the fans. Give them a nice big build of figures. You know, this should have like a uh, huge Tannis. This Tannis is a little short from what I've seen, you know. Ah, oh, jeez, man. The guys that has it, bro. You know, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Now, I choose to think I uh, criticize by giving criti critical comments, but also giving reasons why, you know, that's how you critical critically think. I find, yes, uh, I teach kids, I find a lot of kids in school, they lack critical thinking skills. Holy crap, they lack critical thinking skills. Wow, and it's just, when I see people in message boards, they seem to lack it all, so I'm not sure if it's a generation thing. I'm thinking kids who are around 20, 25 and younger, they lack critical thinking skills. At least that's the interaction I get. Oh my gosh, is that her leg? It's even poorly painted. It's like they did it in black, the entire low leg, right? I'm thinking it was done in black. Same thing with the, um, the double joint here in the knee. And it's like the yellow can barely cover the black. They didn't. What you should do is cover this a uh, couple more coats. And like, holy crap. They actually were that cheap. See, that's why you should have boot cuts, okay? If they give a boot cut, this yellow would match this upper uh, thigh yellow. And uh, it, it's not even a passable figure, guys. It can't stand up. Because her, where her ankles are sculpted. It, it, it's like where her ankles are sculpted, she can't stand up. Her legs are always in like a, a backwards angle, so she's always trying to lean backwards. Oh my goodness, man. This is a, just a terrible figure right now. Uh, the face looks nice, at least. It's painted well. I'm trying to see if it's a little too much red on one side, but no, you can't nitpick that much, right? Try not to nitpick that much. The positive is the yellow actually has some nice wash in it. It has like an orange wash there, really nice, really nice orange wash. Orange wash, really nice with the ends right there, where they used uh, the black plastic and just... I have no idea, man. I just have no idea why they did that. Uh, okay, let me just get the articulation. The head goes down, you saw it can go left and right. Doesn't really tilt. Um, the arm goes out really far. That's really impressive. That's impressive. Okay, it's a single joint, which uh, people like single joints, but I like the double joint. I prefer the double joints. Always double joint these figures, darn it. Honestly, like a big character, there's no need for it, but she needs double joints. It's like they have to create a new female body at some point. Come on, guys. Uh, it's fine, I guess. The twist there, but I would love to see some sculpt work there. You know, I like, uh, I like, I like, I like sculpt work where it makes sense. Like, this would make sense where, like, Imagine like the glove goes over the costume, so it makes sense to have some type of a uh, sculpt there. I mean, you guys are saving money, but I mean, put it back into the product, guys. Put it back. <sighs> App crunch is okay for a female figure. Nothing to write home about. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, the legs. Uh, oh, it's also twist hair. Not too well, but it's still it's humanistic movement, and that's what matters. Uh, the leg goes out. Uh, decent for a female figure. Tilt this camera down. Uh, decent for a female figure. Oh, I feel the cheap plastic bend there. And goes up pretty okay. Goes back uh, pretty decently too, you know. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Oh my goodness, guys. You guys could have done a better job. And it has those nice ankle pivots everybody seemed to like with me. 
if you guys have been watching my videos, which you haven't according to the reviews, the view count, uh, I explained to you in the videos why these ankles aren't as good as the, uh, as the older, the newer, actually, the newer, later Toy Biz incarnations. You know, uh, basically these, when these turn, they go at a diagonal angle. So you never really get it to touch the ground the way you want it, you know, especially when there's no boot swivel. It's hard to make it uh, touch the ground, make proper contact, and also because it lacks uh, toe joints. But that's a different video. Anyway, this figure is a uh, somewhat of a disappointment. I don't know who a Hellcat is, and the figure can't stand, and it's also due to the cheap plastic. The figure can't stand up too well. Uh, my left arm doesn't move too well, but that's just heating up. So, I would rate this figure on top of the head. <sighs> I'm leaning towards a 6. I'm trying to see if I can bring it up or anything like that. The paint job is really nice. Um, I guess if you're a fan, you can get it a seven, but for me personally, it's a six. Uh, there's no sculpt work. It's barely any accessories. Oh, I'm sorry, there's zero accessories unless this is an accessory to you. Then yes, it could have used extra head, but I know every figure should have an extra head. Uh, if you're charging $20, 22 23 dollars, you guys should load these figures up, especially when you're using cheaper plastic. You're just doing straight repaint. It's a straight repaint, guys. It's a disappointment. Uh, I'm leaning towards a six, but if you're a fan, seven uh, is it worth getting? Absolutely not. Um, unless you're again a fan. Anyway, guys, I'm not even going to bother to do photographs because guess what? She can't stand. You know, a typical Hasbro. And even if you have a stand, it's like the plastic is so cheap. That the leg starts bending, you know, the leg starts bending and giving way. That's what cheap plastic does, you know. Anyway, I expect the same one of this piece of crap here. We'll see when I open it up. Her uh, jugs do look bigger than Spider Woman's. Maybe it's the red. Hmm, what do you guys think? Mm hmm. Alright, take care, guys. Peace. God, I hate you guys.